What keeps me up at night right now is um, a problem called the firewall paradox, um, which is basically uh, another version of the information paradox that has plagued uh, black hole physics for uh, about four decades, ever since Stephen Hawking first formulated it. Um, there is a tension between uh, the central principles of quantum mechanics and general relativity. Uh, a central principle of quantum mechanics is that you cannot lose information. You can predict the future, you can retrodict the past if you know the state now. Um, a central principle of general relativity, how it was actually derived by Einstein, is that falling freely is the same thing as not having a gravitational field. That flat, that on sufficiently small scales, if you fall freely, you should be able to describe uh, the, the space-time that you're in as basically an empty flat space-time, unless there's actually matter around. Now, near the horizon of a black hole, the point of no return, uh, long after the black hole forms, there shouldn't be any matter there. But it looks like um, if you insist that black holes, when they evaporate, return the information about whatever formed them, uh, that there has to be some dramatic feature if you try to fall into the black hole, that, that you hit something hard, that in some sense space and time actually end there. That's called the firewall. So that's you know, another fascinating crisis that we're currently dealing with. And, and as I said, crises are great in physics. They're a huge opportunity for progress. Uh, we've long wanted to understand quantum gravity, but here we have a situation where we have a very sharp conflict between, again, the two central principles of each side. So that's an opportunity to, to, to start taking a step forward and, and, uh, and figure out what's really going on. And, and I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, that will happen, but that's literally been keeping me up at night.